at question five, June 2018 for mathematics paper two. So question five is a student in a group were asked to name their favorite sport and their responses are shown on the pie chart below and it says calculate the value of x the circle is split into three between football tennis and cricket cricket is 94 degrees tennis is 45 degrees and the football is x degrees they're asking us to calculate the value of x which is football what we know is that for a circle the total degrees in any correct the total degrees in any circle adds up to 360 degrees so therefore what we're going to do is to say 94 degrees plus 45 degrees plus x degrees is equal to 360 degrees when we add 94 and 45 what we'll get is 139 degrees plus x degrees is equal to 360. Now what we'll do is to subtract 139 for both sides of the equation, or since it's positive here, when we carry it across the equal sign, it will become negative or subtract. So what we'll have is x is equal to 360 degrees minus 139, and when you do that, x is equal to 221 degrees. So very good for those who are in the chat. So it will be 221 degrees for a value of x. Important to note, total degrees in a circle, no matter how big or small it is, the total degrees is 360 degrees. We add what we know and we subtract it from the total to get the unknown. Part two now says, what percentage of the class chose cricket? So what we know is that working percentage, something is being multiplied by 100%. So what we're interested in is 94 degrees, and that should go over the total degrees, which is 360, and we are multiplying that by 100% to find out what is the percentage from this class that shows cricket. And when you do that, what you'll get that to be is 26.1%. The 26.1% of the class chose cricket. And that is our answer. Part three now says, given that 40 students chose tennis, calculate the total number of students in the class. So 40 students chose tennis and the tennis um, accounted for 45 degrees from our circle. So 40 students which chose tennis accounted for 45 degrees from our circle. So we're calculating the total number of students in the group. So X student would then be equal to 360 degrees. And yes, there are different ways that can work. This question. So, what I'm going to do here is to cross multiply. When you do that, what you'll get is x multiply by 45 degrees is equal to 40 multiply by 360 degrees. And now solving for x, x is equal to the 40 multiply by 360 degrees. And all of that is divided by 45 degrees. 
that degree should be down there. So therefore, when you work it out, indeed, X is equal to 320 students. So 320 students took part in this survey. And that is our answer. Part B says the diagram below shows a frequency polygon of the number of goals scored by a, scored by a football team in 25 matches. They gave you the frequency polygon and it says complete the following table using the information in the diagram. So they want us to tell the number of goals scored, how many matches in how many matches did they scored only two goals and from what we can see from two goals that came up with three matches and for five goals only two matches our answer is three and two for this part so you're literally for those who didn't see let me take it for advantage so the number of goals is here on our x-axis we extrapolate going up to match this point with the y-axis and this is how we got the three in the first instance for the second part where it is five that was missing it is five going up to this point then we extrapolate going across to our y-axis and that is how we got two for that second part that is how we got three and two by reading from our graph Part two says, what is the modal number of goals scored by the team? And if you guys remember what mode is, it speaks to the one that occurs the most, the highest in any particular um, data set that you're looking at. Correct. So it is one because in seven matches, one goal was scored. So therefore, it is the goal that occurred the most. So it is the modal, the modal number of goals. So one is the modal number of goals as it occurred seven times. So in seven matches, one goal was scored. Part three now says, determine the median number of goals scored by the team. So if you remember, median now is looking at the middle number. So what I did was, remember, these are all 25 goals, different matches, 25 matches that were played. So therefore, in five of the matches, zero was scored. So I wrote zero five times here. In seven matches, one was scored. So I wrote seven, I wrote one seven times. In three matches, two goals were scored. So I wrote two three times. In three matches, three goals were scored. So I wrote three. Four matches, four goals were scored. Four. In two matches, five was scored. So I wrote five two times. And in one match, one um, six goal was scored. So I wrote that there. So now what we know, we can use a formula to identify the position. So median position is equal to n plus 1 divided by 2, where n is the number of activity. In this case, it is 25. There are 25 matches, so it is 25 plus 1 divided by 2, which is 26 divided by 2, which is e equal to 13. So what this is saying is that the median number is in the 13th position. So what we need to do is to count to see which number lines up with the position 13. So it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 
So for those that wrote to indeed median number of goals is equal to two. So remember, we that is a formula. So the formula is n plus one divided by two. That is the general formula to find the median position, n plus one divided by two. Remember when you're writing median numbers as well, you either arrange your numbers in ascending or descending order. You must have an order to your numbers in order to determine the median. So you must write it in ascending or descending order. Yes, the N indicates the number of matches played. So in any question, when you're looking for N, what N tells us is the number, the number of times that activity takes place. Part four now says calculate the mean number of goals scored by the team. So the mean number of goals scored by the team. So what we what we have to do here is a multiply five by zero plus seven by one plus three by two plus three by three plus four by four plus two by five plus one by six correct and then divide it by the total number of matches which is 25. so what we have is mean is equal to five multiplied by zero plus seven multiplied by one plus three multiply by two plus three multiplied by three plus four multiplied by four plus two multiplied by five plus one multiplied by six and all of that is divided by 25. When you add that, when you multiply and add everything, what you will get is the mean is equal to 25, sorry, 54 divided by 25. And when you divide 54 by 25, you'll get the mean to be equal to 2.16. So 2.16 goals is the median the mean sorry the mean for this particular data set so 2.16 is our mean and that is the end of question five